So now let's get into the swing phase of a gait cycle. First, we're going to be talking about the toe off. Now realize that we've already gone through 60% of the gait cycle. The swing phase is only 40%. So first, let's get on to the, uh, actually the rectus femoris here. Bring your leg down. So even though I may have covered some of these structures, we'll kind of talk about it in a little bit of a different way. The technique would be very similar, but we may see a dysfunction in a certain aspect of the gait cycle that relates to this specific anatomical structure as you see in a different part in the swing phase. Okay, leg back, good, good, and back. So what would I see if I saw a problem with the rectus femoris or the hip flexor? Well, after this, we're gonna go up into the iliosophus, the primary hip flexor, but either of these hip flexors, we'd probably see a reduced stride length. You okay there, Mickey? Oh yeah. All right. Due to limited flexion of the runner's stride length, we could also see uh, compensation patterns where we see certain areas, other areas of the bodies were actually really tight and restricted. They might actually use the opposite leg even more and have a problem with the opposite side, but the problem is really on this side, so that's why sometimes we have to actually check on both sides bilateral. We can see altered foot strike. You might see that the uh, runner has more of a uh, toe orientated foot strike position. And uh, unfortunately, this will really tighten up tension in the lower leg. We also could, could see that we'll have a lower leg swing. And the problem is that is that basically the foot may not rise significantly enough off the ground during the swing phase. And obviously if that happens, we're gonna get the runner tripping and falling. So not a, not a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna get you to lie on your side, please. Okay, so what I'm gonna get you to do here, we're gonna do two things here. One is to just bring the arm back, and that we're gonna get on the leosoas here. Okay, you okay, me get in here a little bit? Yeah. Okay, good. Now bring both structures back. Now this is one way that we could do it. Bring the leg back and down. Oh. This is a pretty common pendant stretch modality. Good, and back. And it is effective, there's no doubt. Bring your arm up, take it back. But the second way, and the one that I often prefer, mind your back here, and the aged pigeon table over here. Good. And so you're gonna bring your leg down here, like so, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna go on here and just kind of move up. You okay? Oh yeah. Okay, bring it down, right down, good. So I'm not pushing in with my elbow, I'm actually going down a little bit to get depth, and then I'm going a little bit superior. And then take this down, good. Take it back up and over, good. So I'll actually just get you to bring the camera over on this side a little bit here, just so you can see how the leg comes down. Good. You okay there, Mickey? Yep. Wonderful, thanks for asking. That's wonderful. <laughs> Good. Back up. And down. Excellent. So the next area we need to discuss is the hamstrings in relationship to the toe-off section of the swing phase. So let's get back on your favorite muscle work on there, Mickey. <laughs> let's get in the hamstrings here. And again, we're going to put pressure, a little bit of rotation there. Now, when it comes to hamstring dysfunction, hamstring dysfunction can impede leg acceleration. And basically swing phase force. Now, this will potentially influence, have a, a major influence on running efficiency and stride length especially due to some of the fascial connections or continuity with the, uh, as it connects back up right into the sacro tuberous ligament and the glute max. You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. So again, we'd work on both sides, work our way through semimembranosus, semitendinosus, laterally the biceps femoris, 
release the structures, I suggest that we do it on both sides. Really, really important work. This can have a huge influence on actually just releasing these structures and improving performance, but preventing an injury, an injury from happening or occurring here.